Hello guys, in this tutorial we will see how we can use APMM software to evaluate uh, magnetic force in a uh, magnetic actuator and to demonstrate that I am using a planar actuator so you can see here uh, the dimensions and number of turns of coil is uh, 1300 and I am considering depth of 10 cm and current of 2.5 ampere so here are analytical formula by which we can analytically evaluate uh, forces flux density and flux linkage as well so <coughs> we can use this formula and evaluate the force so in this case you can see force of 1 uh, 106 Newton is coming so let's begin so for geometry I am using this code to create the geometry it's a magnetostatic problem so, <coughs> okay so this is plunger this is core these two are coils and this is air so let's first define material properties so we use material library use air and soft magnetic material as a pure iron and for conductor we will use uh, copper then we define circuit so the left uh, side coil section is carrying current of uh, 2.5 ampere that is uh, positive whereas the right hand side will carry current of minus 2.5 So we can call it one. Let's see. Yes. <clears throat> uh, let's define the boundary as well. So we have flux parallel to the outer side boundaries. So we define flux parallel. Okay. And we can we can check pure iron. We make it zero conductivity electrical conductivity we are uh, using here an linear isotropic magnetic material so let's put different blocks here select block this is iron this is also iron this is coil this is coil and this is air reason so let's first make it iron <coughs> now make it so this is copper circuit one and number of turns are 1300 this is again make it copper circuit to number of turn 1300 okay and uh, we can change here to centimeter and we are going to 10 meter 10 centimeter depth so it's a planar problem we are using centimeter as a unit and depth of 10 centimeter then we go to edge select all edges and assign as a new boundary so yes all done let's save it uh, actuator <coughs> create a mesh yes we are creating default mesh then solve it oh, not been defined block label so which one we have not defined uh, 
okay this air we have not defined so make it air now solve it <coughs> okay solution done you can see flux lines all flux line is majorly confined in iron part so we have to evaluate magnetic force on these plungers so you go to the region select it go to integrate then use uh, force via weighted stress tensor so you can see around 107 uh, newton force and we have approximately evaluated the same value here yeah there is another way to evaluate the force you can uh, select this edge select this particular edge and integrate what we have to integrate force via stress tensor so it is also around 106 uh, newton <coughs> same if you want to evaluate what is the flux passing here we can go here evaluate flux so it will give us uh, around 1.6 milli weber whereas 0.16 is tesla so if you see our analytical formula 1.6 milli weber and is 0.16 so 0.16 you want to plot it here you can see the flux density plot now in upcoming uh, tutorial i will use this uh, force as a function of current and position and also inductance as a function of position and current and we use these uh, two lookup table and in a uh, system level model will try to simulate transient performance on a actuator so you can use this uh, FEM tool to evaluate actuator magnetic actuator performance uh, thanks please let me know if you have any questions